think you about compact footy so let us watch about compact footy designs so here we go first of all we are designing a compact footing it is very simple and easy the question column a 300 mm and column b is 400 400 mm the load carried by each column is 500 km and 700 km. So spacing between the column is 3.4 meter. So SBC is 150 meter per square inputty and FE4 frame we are using. So this is very simple. This is a plan diagram which shows about uh, <coughs> this is a plan that is the two columns separated by 3.4 meter and uh, the remaining side distance are 0.35 and 0.9. So this is how this plan works. So let me tell you how to work it out. So to find x bar, you know actually P2 L divided by U plus P2 is how gives the x bar that is uh, uh, distance between <coughs> distance between these two is x bar. So we found this distance using this uh, formula uh, P2 and P2 1 by P2. So after that we are going for uh, Finding the side distance A1 and A2 that is very simple, you can do by yourself as you can So, the first case is the most high, mo high moment 270 km is selected for depth finding. So, you can see from the diagram. So, this is a plan diagram. <laughs> uh, we get a shear force diagram, and below that, we got a moment diagram. So, the point of contour fracture is the maximum. Uh, maximum uh, <coughs> maximum moment will occur so you can use the SBC and uh, the force given you can find this uh, shear force and with that you can find this moment so after finding that moment we are getting the moment which is high is a 270 as per diagram so we get diagram 270 which is uh, okay we got that so we are finding this uh, depth from the momentum using the M limit from IS 456 uh, code book with that you are finding this uh, form loss and we are getting the depth required so after that we have to find case 2 is uh, uh, punching shear so the punching shear is nothing but uh, actually <coughs> the punching shear is nothing but this is the uh, <coughs> shear force we are going to find a distance of uh, d divided by 2 so as per the diagrams this is a depth d divided by 2 from the other side of this column so the depth we found is 300 mm so what we have done is the depth of 300 mm is divided by 2 has so we got 150 mm at each side so the perimeter is uh, 700 mm as uh, 400 because the 400 is actually the size plus 150 plus 150 so that is a 400 so 400 plus 300 equal to 700 mm so we have to find the v value that is uh, 1.5 is the more is the is the, <coughs> is the factor which you are going to multiply to get ultimate moments ultimate shear force so the force we get is uh, sound minimum which is acting on it so this is SBC and this is the uh, perimeter area so that we can if you multiply the force into SBC into force we get force so this you can get the EU and shear stress we get the form loss because force you are by the uh, VVD and we get this it is uh, less than the 0 by 2 FCK then it is uh, normal depth as we consider so depth for one way shear is nothing but distance at D that is uh, 0.3 at uh, 0.3 millimeter at the distance from the foaming so now is nothing but V by VD so what else we got is uh, V from the formula 1.5 into 264 is the shear force acting in that and minus SPC into 0.5 that is uh, uh, 0.5 is nothing but the depth after that uh, <coughs> Uh, depth after uh, that uh, column because the point two is the center of the column plus point three. That's because uh, we are getting uh, we have to minus the SBC from because we want the we want the uh, area about uh, point three. That is uh, from here to here only we need uh, find the SB, uh, v because we don't need the distance of uh, point three here. So point two plus point three will get uh, <coughs> v value. So this is how we design this uh, shear, uh, one way shear. So we by BD after getting the top is less than tau C, we get that is okay and that is okay. So check for development length. If you think of 47 to buy, you can add it. And if it is uh, great, great less than uh, the actual uh, length we got, then it is okay. So next is a uh, drawing comment. So next is the thing that we have to find the AST. You can easily find the AST by using the formula as I showed the IS4 by 6 code. So M is called 0.87. So that code you can easily find the AST value. So this is a plan how it is looks. That thing but this is a bar as I shown here. Uh, 16 mm twenty two bars and here twenty mm eighty bars. This is a time versus score. This is long video for school. Very simple. And this is done. This is how you so please subscribe and this is how you like movements. So upload it right back.